Are you thinking about moving to Denver, Colorado? Is this something that you've kind of been looking at? Do you not know what to look for? Do you have questions? Denver is a giant circumference of all these different areas. If you are looking to move to the great state of Colorado, then stick around because I'm gonna go over some top tips and tricks that you should know before moving to Denver. Hey guys, it is Linda Barr, your Denver North Realtor, and I am excited for today. You know that I love making these videos for you guys. I love answering your questions, but I would love, love, love to help you guys even more find your dream home, sell the house that you are currently in to either upgrade or downgrade or whatever your real estate needs are. Just hit me up. Let me know, all my information is here. So let's just dive right into all the tips and tricks to know before coming to Colorado. The first thing I want to stress is to be prepared. Now, as silly as this sounds, really a lot of people don't think about the very first steps. It's just like, oh yeah, I wanna go here. Oh yeah, I want that. Like, let's just go. Or they see something either on Zillow or realtor.com and they're just like, yep, that's what I want. When in fact, it may not even be what they really want. So when I say be prepared, the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna call me or call your agent, wherever you're going. If you're moving out of state, you're still gonna call me because I'm gonna be able to hook you up with a great network of agents that I know all across the globe. You're gonna get on that Zoom call and we are gonna prepare you for what is to come, even if you're not here. Zoom is great. I'm sure everyone since COVID knows that Zoom has become a really amazing tool to not only have those conversations, but it's not just a phone call. You'll be able to see whoever you are going to be working with face to face so you guys can really get to know each other and get to know what exactly your needs and wants are for location, home, and all the good stuff that goes in when purchasing a home. One of the first things about being prepared is understanding where you're coming from. Maybe you are moving from one house to another. So what exactly does that mean? Do you need to sell your current home because you're gonna be buying a purchase or buying a new one? Do you need to rent out your current home so that you can buy a new one? Are you moving out of state? Are you here in Denver already or in Colorado and you're just trying to move from one location to the other? What exactly is your plan of action? And that way we can start developing that game plan that gets you prepared and ready to buy. On the other spectrum, maybe you're renting or your lease is gonna be up. We need to know, when are you planning to move? What's your time frame? Depending on the market, as we all know, it's always up and down. We know if we can get this time frame together, then your agent or myself, whomever you're working with, will be able to help you plan it out so there's a little less stress. We all know that a real estate transaction or or actually, if you've been watching my channel, you know that there no transaction is ever the same and is always up and down. And it's always something new and things may pop up, but the more prepared you are, the better you're gonna be able to maneuver through all the things that come unexpectedly. So having that time frame of whether you need to sell, whether your lease is gonna be up, or maybe you don't have any of that to deal with and you can just come out. Awesome, great. These are all things that are gonna fit so we can tailor a plan just for you. The second thing that I wanna to talk to you guys about is lending. What exactly does that mean? It's your purchase power. It's what you are gonna to need to buy your house. Do you have a lender? Have you been talking to a lender? Do you need a lender? Guess what? I have a great network of amazing lenders that work again all across the globe that I am happy to hook you up with. Even though finances and lending and all this talk, oh, I don't even you know, want to deal with a lender right now, this is a very, very important step. This is going to determine what your price point is going to be. Then you're going to be able to see the numbers. Your lender, if you're working with a good lender, is going to be able to strategically show you before we even put in an offer on a property, what is your monthly payment going to look like? What is everything? Some properties, even though you're like, oh, well, it's the cheapest one, so it's going to be. That is not always the case. All these things come into play. Property taxes, homeowners insurance, location, location, location. That's going to be number three. We'll talk about that in a second. But all of these are factors into what your mortgage payment is going to be. So necessarily, what if you have an HOA? Some HOAs have zero, 
or 30, 40 bucks, maybe it's under 100, then you have other HOAs that can be well over that. So all, again, these are all factors that you need to be looking at before we even start the process. I always, 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 I put my clients in front of a lender. If they don't have one, or maybe they already know one and they're talking to one, awesome, great. So having my clients go in front of a lender, getting those numbers worked out, because sometimes I have clients who actually will qualify for this amount, but once they start breaking down the numbers and seeing what their monthly payments are gonna be, you're seeing what's happening over here they go you know what I really I know I qualify for that but I, I really don't want to do that so guess what all your agent myself needs to know is what are you comfortable with where's your price point these are all things that we're gonna go over and it all goes and ties in with being prepared the third thing that I want to talk to you guys about is location there are so many areas in Denver to choose from you can go north you can go south you can go east you can go west what is best gonna fit your needs maybe you're moving here and you actually work remotely so then your commute all that things is not really gonna matter maybe you are moving here because you have a job transfer you have somewhere where you physically have to go in these are all things we're gonna have to look at you have freeways we have traffic um, we can always map that out anything where it's like hey Linda I really like this area and I like this I'm like well that's like 45 minutes from your actual job like are you okay with this commute like here's the commute times um, obviously during high volume commute times it's gonna take you a little bit longer like these are all things that you need to be thinking about before we start looking now looking maybe you've already done some research and you're like well there's actually a specific area that i want to go to because it's close to this or i really like this um you know it has all the best hiking areas or it has the best downtown spots where i can just have in walking distance what is your needs really really want to dive into that question and think about what is gonna what is bringing you here what are some things that you would like to be close to or maybe you want to be far away maybe you're like you know what i just want a couple acres out in the middle of nowhere but i'm still kind of close if i want to go to the big city or maybe it's like you know what i don't want to see anybody nope not even looking at it these are all going to be tied around with what lifestyle are you looking for are you looking for that big backyard are you looking for space are you looking for no yard maintenance condo town home single family home hey maybe you want a cabin in the woods these are just all things that we are going to go over and just hammer out now so that you're not really looking all over the place you're not undecisive we're not looking at a million homes all at once we're literally making our pile a little bit smaller and a little more tailored so that you are not overwhelmed or inundated with everything that there is that denver has to offer like i've been trying to say denver is so centrally located that it literally gives you like a 45 minute radius for potential spots for you to move the fourth thing that I really want to talk about I kind of touched on it a little bit but it's literally the time frame so this boils back to do you need to sell your current home do you need to wait till your lease is up are you literally coming out here like with no commitment like you don't have any commitments or anything that you need to do have you talked to a lender sometimes financing maybe you're like oh wait I'm just not quite there yet I just need a couple more months to get a few things figured out per my lender these are all things why we're having this conversation right up front so that there are no surprises so that you're not wasting your time so that you are properly prepared when you move to Denver another thing when you're talking about time frame is are you going to be able to come out and physically be seeing these properties with me or am I going to be needing to do virtual showings I have this great thing called an iPhone takes great pictures takes great video I can definitely email it to you or we can actually do a live zoom call right from my phone these are all things that we are going to be talking about before we even move forward in the process I need to know what you're comfortable with I need to know what your schedule is and we need to know how we can work this out so that you if you cannot be out here I can get you those properties properties in a timely manner we can go see them together I can like I said videotape them we have a game plan or awesome great guess what you can actually come out and tour the properties with me awesome cool that way we'll get a list of properties together so I am not wasting any of your time we're utilizing as much of it can as much as we can when you come out here I will be scheduling all of those showing so that we can properly see them and you can make an informed decision so hopefully that was really informative hopefully that kind of walked you through the process and this I know I said it to Denver obviously I'm here in Denver 
Um, I'm here in Colorado, so I tailor it to that because that is what I'm doing. But honestly, you guys, these steps are going to be used for any state you plan on moving to. Now, again, I would love the opportunity to work with you. I'd love the opportunity to refer you to another agent if you plan on moving out of Denver or moving anywhere. I have a great network of agents I can connect you guys with, but no matter what you guys do, please take these steps into consideration. This is just so that you're prepared for any place you decide to move or any location, and it'll just help you and your agent be more on task so that you're not wasting your time, you're not wasting their time, and there's little less room for stress and error. Any given time, you're always gonna have craziness happen in real estate, that's how it is. But the more prepared you are, the more structure you have, the more conversations that you have with your lender, with your agent, with anybody who's in the profession or dealing with the actual transaction, the better off you're gonna be and the more prepared you will be. As always guys, if I don't see you around Denver, I'll definitely see you on my next video. Bye.